Good evening and welcome to the pre-Christmas episode of Friday Night Flights. Christmas Eve is just one week from today. Can you believe this year has gone so fast? I can't. And one of the odd things about December this year and this entire fall and beginning of winter is we have yet to have any snow. So, a little bit of bad news. I understand that Santa will not be able to bring his sleigh in this year at all. Um, but on the plus side, Santa doesn't need a sleigh because this year he has a red truck. That's right. We're starting off with red truck Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. This is out of uh, California. Where in California? I don't know. Comes from California. It's Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. I put the cap back in this, the cork back in it, just to show you something new that all the red truck wines have. They have a twist off cork. It's got a little bit of a spiral rifling on the cork and inside the, what we'd call the barrel of the bottle. So you can twist it out, twist it back on to save that wine, keep it fresh a little longer, you know, when you don't drink it all in one, one night. <laughs> like that happens. Anyway. Moving on, our 2017 Cab Sauv out of California. On the nose, big bright fruits. I get raspberry, cherry, um, maybe a hint of strawberry in there. Definitely red licorice, actually. A lot of red licorice on the nose. Tasting it, that licorice comes through. It's very fruit forward, big red bright fruits in this. Um, it's not a heavy dry cab at all. It's definitely a light Cabernet Sauvignon. Very low tannic structure. Great food wine. You know, for a cab, it, it, it's a pizza wine, burger wine. Maybe some steaks. Um, nothing that, I mean, it would be easily overpowered because it's, it's very light for a cab. But it's pretty good. It does uh, not linger much. There's not a whole lot on the finish. But all in all, not a bad wine for, uh, I think it was like a 10 buck wine. So, not bad at all. California Red Truck Cabernet. Now, being that Christmas is coming up next week, New Year's week after that, this whole holiday season's uh, kind of tense on families. And I don't know about your family, but at least with mine, it always seems like not everything goes right. At some point, there's going to be a holiday fiasco. Which brings us to our next wine. Oh, look, Chianti holiday fiasco right there. This is traditional Chianti in what we usually call the wicker basket. But I'm going to throw a little wine education at you here. One of the reasons this is called Fiasco is the wine basket here is actually named a Fiasco. So on all Chiantis, when you see this, it's Chianti in a Fiasco. Um, fiasco translates from Italian to American as flask. So that's your flask of your Chianti. Now, uh, Chianti comes from the... Chianti province in Tuscany. Uh, it's kind of a little bit like Champagne in that to be called a Chianti, it has to come from that area of Tuscany. You can't make a Chianti in California, Colorado, anywhere else. You can make Sangiovese. By law, Chianti, San, or Chianti coming from Chianti, has to be, it, it varies in parts of the region, has to be a minimum of 70 to 80% Sangiovese grape. Um, a lot of times it's 100% Sangiovese. So when you see like an American Sangiovese, think Chianti. Oh, on the nose, this is dusty and musty. I don't have an Italian grandmother, but if I did, this is what her basement would smell like. Uh, I do have an Italian godmother, Aunt Tilly. Yep, this is what Tilly's basement smelled like. It just brings me back there. Um, like I said, musty, dusty, dried fruits, dried red fruits, uh, maybe some fig. Um, 
possibly a little bit like a, a, a fungi, a, a mushroom and some olive oil there on the palate. There's those dried red fruits. Ooh, this is a big dry wine. I love this. Dried red fruits. Again, that olive oil comes through with actually a little bit of uh, hints of balsamic vinegar. Um, there's some bitter tannic herbs in there. As opposed to the Cab Sauv, which can be very dry. I've had very dry Cab Sauvs and very light Chiantis. These two are reversed. It was a very light Cab Sauv, very dry, very tannic Chianti. Re really nice for, this is about a $13 bottle of wine. Both of these were purchased at Total Beverage in Westminster. The finish on this is much drier. Um, lingers a lot longer. But not excessive on the finish. I'd say it's got about a 60 second linger to it. Uh, where the Chianti had maybe a 10, I mean, the Cab had maybe a 10 to 15 second linger on it. Um, those are our wines for today. Red Trek Cab Sauv 2017 out of California. Holiday Fiasco Chianti out of Italy from the Vini Pregiati Winery in the Chianti region of Tuscany in Italy. I want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas. Um, I hope you... Your Christmases are filled with love and family and all the wonderful things. And of course, terrific wine. Cheers.